Hello and welcome to an Envato Tuts Plus tutorial. I'm Adi Purdila and in today's video you'll learn how to embed a video in WordPress with and without YouTube. Now using YouTube is probably the easiest method for most people because everyone knows YouTube and everyone uses it. So um, yeah, let's start with that. I have a demo WordPress site set up here on my uh, local computer and uh, let's say that I want to add a video in this hello world post okay so i'm gonna go to my dashboard posts i'm gonna open up hello world and once you're in here you have several options for embedding the youtube video so let's go ahead and find the youtube video first let's uh, say this one what i'm gonna do is simply copy the address so we can have it in the clipboard for uh, later all right, coming back here, if you're using a WordPress version that's compatible with Gutenberg, then you can go up here where it says add block. You can search for YouTube or you can simply go to embeds and you can choose YouTube from the list. You would enter the URL, hit embed, and that's it. You would hit update and then you get to see that video in your post super simple right now what if you don't have gutenberg if you have an older version of wordpress well actually here's what we're gonna do we're gonna install the classic editor plugin and we're gonna activate it so now my posts will uh, simply be edited the old fashioned way. So then you can use an embed code from YouTube. You would go to the YouTube video, share, embed, and you would copy this code and then come back. Let's uh, delete this bit, paste that in, hit update, and actually we have to switch to text here paste in the uh, the code that you just copied hit update and now you'll see that that uh, that video was embedded but regardless of what version of the editor you're using the easiest way to um, to embed a YouTube video is to copy its link go back in and just paste in that link hit update and WordPress will do the magic for you and it's gonna automatically embed that and that also works for uh, Gutenberg so if we get rid of the classic editor right you can simply paste that link and Gutenberg will automatically create um, an embed for that video. Now, all of this is possible thanks to a protocol called O-Embed. Okay, and it doesn't just work for videos, it also works for photos, for example. But O-Embed is used by a lot of websites, YouTube included, and it allows for this embedding of um, of content so if you're wondering which websites can I use to embed uh, content in WordPress well pretty much any website that supports this O embed protocol with a few exceptions of course uh, there is actually an internal whitelist and WordPress will auto embed links coming from websites on that list uh, as you can see this list contains the big players like YouTube, Vimeo, and Facebook, but also some um, less known platforms like Dailymotion, TED, and so on. Now, embedding a video from one of these uh, websites is just as easy as uh, embedding from YouTube. So here we have a, a TED Talk. So what you can do is click the share button, copy a link, and then you will go into WordPress here. Let's actually delete the these two and let's paste in that link 
and as you can see WordPress automatically uh, embeds that content so update refresh and now we have a TED video playing very cool and if this doesn't work uh, most of these websites also offer you an embed code that you can simply copy and paste just like I uh, showed you previously now what if you want to embed a video that's not hosted on any of these platforms well this is where it gets tricky because while it is true that you can always self host your videos it's not recommended and here's why number one performance uploading videos directly to your server will take up precious server resources which in most cases are shared with other websites so videos are inherently large that means that allocating all of that bandwidth for streaming those videos is a poor use of server resources number two user experience if you're playing self-hosted videos then you're missing out on some amazing features that uh, platforms like YouTube have by default um, features like uh, automatically selecting the playback resolution uh, better player controls recommended videos and so on you don't have these with self-hosted videos number three more traffic at the time of this recording which is February 2020 YouTube is the second most visited website on the web so uploading your videos to it makes a lot of sense you have the potential to get way more visitors and traffic from it rather than uh, self-hosting your videos now with that said if for some reason you still want to self-host your videos here's how you can do that in WordPress it starts with uploading your videos using the media library so you go to media add new you select your files or you drop them in I have a test video on uh, on my desktop here it's this one here you can give it a title a caption description and let's go ahead and copy this link because we'll need it later and then we need to go to plugins add new and we're going to search for uh, a plugin called FV Flow Player. This is a video player plugin. There are a lot of them, a lot of plugins for uh, rendering videos. I'm going to choose to install this one. And let's go ahead and activate it. And then you would go to FV Player, Add New. You would add your video from the media library. This automatically fills in the uh, the size. You can add a splash image if you want. And let's go ahead and save it. And then you have a short code. So you just copy that. You go back to your uh, post and you paste in that short code. Hit update. And now you can play yourself hosted video it's very very simple as I said uh, there are tons of uh, video player plugins in the uh, plugin repository so you can uh, go ahead and check out uh, additional ones if FV player is uh, not the one for you but as I said it's not recommended you self host your videos but instead use a platform like YouTube like Vimeo like other um, video hosting platforms out there all right and that wraps it up for this tutorial uh, thank you very much for watching I hope you found it helpful I'm Adi Pordilo and until next time take care